We're in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina at the main boardwalk area. Hi, I'm Carmen, and if you're new here and you enjoy Myrtle Beach videos, be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you won't miss anything new. So the boardwalk is actually quite long. It's just under two miles long round trip if you go from one end to the other. But this is the central part that we're gonna focus on that has most of the restaurants, most of the entertainment. Um, this is definitely the central most part. You can see the sky wheel, which we'll talk about in a minute. And also an additional entertainment, which we're gonna come back to and give you a full tour of. We've also got the beautiful beach. So let's start out there and get a close up look at the beach. And then we're also gonna take you on a tour street side on Ocean Boulevard. We're gonna walk that and also show you the entertainment that's across the street. Show you everything that the Myrtle Beach Boardwalk has to offer. Look at this. It is so beautiful. If you're wondering where the people are, this is pretty early in the day. Um, it's just after 10 a.m. I mean, everyone has a different definition of early. I know some people will laugh at that and say that's not early. But the majority of beachgoers will come out more around noon and at, in the afternoon. You're not going to see as many people, especially here at the boardwalk, early in the day like this. But look what a beautiful day. And so you can see what the boardwalk looks like from down on the beach. Gorgeous. And these chairs here that you see, these are for rent. There's not a set price, it varies. You just find the lifeguard like her right there and you ask for pricing and they will give you the price for the rentals for the umbrella and chairs. So that's definitely an option if you don't have your own umbrellas and chairs. And if you're wondering about parking here at the boardwalk, they do have parking. It's paid metered parking and there's plenty of it. And there's also a parking deck that you can pay to park in. So definitely check those out for your parking options. Let's go back up and enjoy the boardwalk and see what they have to offer. If you're wondering how to get here directions wise when you're driving, as you can see by the sign, we're at 9th Avenue North and it's the intersection of 9th Avenue North with Ocean Boulevard. And also that's where there's plenty of parking. A little further up Ocean Boulevard near Kings Highway, there is an entire parking deck. All right, back to the tour. So this way we have Peach's Corner, which we'll see when we get street side, plus a couple of other eating establishments. And we have the Oceanfront Bar and Grill, which has been here for a long time. And you've got Oceanfront Dining there. Really nice. It's funny, there's a lot more people up here actually on the boardwalk than there were down below on the beach. You do have two arcades here. There's Dirty Dawn's. Fun Plaza is the first arcade. And they are open, just for some reason they don't have their giant garage doors open yet, but they are open. Usually they open these two large garage doors when the weather's nice and the weather is spectacular today. It's in the 80s today, so I don't know why they don't have those open, but it's a really nice arcade, fun. And also, here's the Boardwalk Paradise General Store. And so it's so nice to be able to walk here along the ocean have this beautiful view. You have these little areas you can come out on and sit. It does have some degree of shade, but that's not full shade, it's like partial shade. Um, but you do have these really nice bump out areas that you can come and get this amazing view of the beach. And you're sort of elevated, which is nice as well. And if you walk all up and down the boardwalk, they have a lot of these history signs that give you all kinds of interesting little historical tidbits about Myrtle Beach. Your sweet treats, it's like ice cream and other treats. Looks like funnel cake, yum. And here's the second arcade I mentioned. So there's two different oceanfront arcades. The one I mentioned before, Fun Plaza, they're the one with the giant doors that open up so you can see the beach while you're playing games. This one does not have that. There's Abraham's Gyros or Eros or how do you say it? Leave, leave us a comment below, let us know phonetically. Hurricanes Daiquiri Bar and Grill with some nice outdoor seating. And then this is definitely an icon of Myrtle Beach, the Gay Dolphin Gift Cove. Very popular, multi-level, actually has a basement, which is very unusual in the beach area. Lots and lots of stuff. Definitely check that out if you haven't. There's a lot of other gift shops like this Boardwalk Beachwear. 
but the gay dolphin is huge. It's multi-level. It goes all the way to street side. We'll, we'll see it from the other side as well. So nice. Now you got Mo Moons. So you have food and drinks, all kinds of stuff. Another beach access. Now we're coming up to what's called Plyler Park. And Plyler Park, sometimes where that stage is in the middle, they have entertainment. And it's usually free. Usually anything they have here is open to the public. I'm not going to guarantee you everything's free, but pretty much usually is. And here's a sign for the Myrtle Beach Boardwalk there. You can actually see them having a show there in Plyler Park. And they show you all the streets that access the boardwalk. And then of course, I think probably the thing that most people think of when they think of the boardwalk now is the Sky Wheel. The Sky Wheel is having its 10th anniversary this year. As you can see, the cabins are missing right now, but by the time you see this video, the cabins will probably be back and it will probably be open again. Um, they renovated the Sky Wheel, put in a whole new light system to celebrate their 10th anniversary, and they are going to be reopening really, really soon. Also here in Plyler Park is this gorgeous dolphin and mermaid statue. I just love this statue. So beautiful. Right over here next to the Sky Wheel. And then you've got the stage I mentioned right behind that, and of course the gorgeous ocean. And then over here along the side you do have a few more gift shops. Now we're coming to the Ocean Boulevard street side and we'll show you the entertainment that is on this side of the street, which, you know, if you're visiting the boardwalk, you'll definitely want to check out this side as well. There's, again, a lot of gift shops along this area. You have the zombie zone straight across here. And then you have Love Sugar. And there are a lot of Ridley's attractions along here. So you can see, we have the 5D Theater, which is a Ripley's attraction. We have Ripley's Haunted Adventure. It's like a haunted house type adventure. And then we also have Ripley's Mirror Maze, which we have actually done, and that was a lot of fun, and it was not what we expected. It was kind of crazy. And down at the very end, that green building, that is Ripley's, believe it or not, we'll get a closer look at that. So coming up right here is the Gay Dolphin Gift Cove that I mentioned before. You see this really iconic, you used to be able to walk up in this, but I think they stopped that some time ago. Um, but you get a better idea from the street side just how big this gift shop is. So definitely check it out if you haven't. It's been here a long, long time in Myrtle Beach. As long as I can remember. I remember seeing it when I was young. We've got pizza. And there is a cut through right here to the beach. Here's the other side of one of the arcades. Some more gift shops. Lots of gift shops here. Oh, something smells good. I'm smelling either waffle cones, probably waffle cones because here's ice cream right here. It smells good. Here we go, a snack bar, and then of course, we've got the uh, fun plaza, which we just saw from the other side. There's the back of the Paradise General Store, which you can also access from this side, from street side. Old timey photos. More beachwear and gift shops. And then, as I mentioned earlier, we're coming up on Peach's Corner. Peach's Corner has been here since 1938, so it's been in Myrtle Beach a long, long time. They have different things to eat. They see a shrimp boat, catfish basket. They also, I'm pretty sure, have burgers and hot dogs as well. I haven't been there in a while, but I'm pretty sure they do. 
So it's a place you can go sit down and eat, but it's also got sort of quick and easy to get food when you're on the beach. And there's Ripley's, believe it or not, auditorium across the street. That's a lot of fun. We have a video on that. I'll link it in the description below. Police Tower is out. And they do have a zip line and adventure ropes course over here where the old pavilion area used to be. Leave me a comment if you remember the old pavilion. And so now we've made a circle. So here's looking back towards the boardwalk close to the area that we started. And then I wanted to show the volleyball course because I didn't show that the first time. So here's the volleyball course. They do have tournaments here. And then the police reminding you to choose your ride carefully here. Now we're walking up the street. So there's Ripley's, believe it or not, that we just passed. So here are the parking meters that I mentioned earlier. There's parking all along this street, which is 9th Avenue. And then there are also um, a parking deck up here and more parking spaces across the street. So there's lots of parking here. Also wanted to show there's more gift shops up here. There's the zip line that I mentioned earlier. And then there's Gordo's, which is a tequila bar and I believe they also have Mexican food. And then across there, I think the chemist closed down. If you know for sure, leave it in the comments below. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they did close down. And then you can see just past that, that large structure up there, that's the parking deck I mentioned. So if you can't find parking along the street here, you can definitely find parking there. And there's actually other parking lots near here too. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click on the video on your screen right now and click subscribe so you won't miss anything new. Thanks so much for watching. Until our next adventure.